Hey everyone, welcome to another Go High Level tutorial. Today I'll show you how to give your clients access to their sub accounts quickly and easily. So let's dive right in. If you sign up for Go High Level using our affiliate link below, you'll unlock an exclusive extended 30 day free trial that's double the usual 14 days. Plus, we're throwing in over $2,000 worth of bonuses, including this landing page template. So let's go ahead and jump into the video. All right, so the first thing that you need to do upon logging into your account, go to settings from your dashboard and then go to team. And from here, you can add employees. So basically, you're going to add um, uh, an, uh, a user for your sub accounts or for your agency, but we're not going to do um, the agency level. So we're going to add a user uh, for your sub account. So most likely this is going to be your client. So let's say, all right. So let's say, let's say we have this information. So, uh, first name, last name, email address, phone number. Uh, it depends if, uh, you still need to put an extension here, uh, profile photo. And here in the advanced settings, you have to set a password. Um, you can either ask your client, uh, what their um, selected password is, but for safety reasons, you can just generate um, their own password and then just uh, let them change their password um, once they started to log in. So click next. Then we'll go to the next section, which is the roles and permission. So of course, um, you want to give them access to just their sub account. So instead of saying, or instead of choosing agency, click account and then um, either you want to use or you want them to uh, assign them as a user or an admin but if this is uh, the client and this client owns the account or the sub account so just click admin data visibility scope so either only assign data or all records so of course if it's the client who's paying for uh, the sub account you choose all records and then select the sub account. So let's say uh, this. And then for the next sections, you can definitely uh, manage their uh, roles and permissions if you want to remove access to some of the features of their sub account, you may do so. Say, for example, um, automations, you don't want them messing up with your automations that you set up with their snapshot or their sub account, you may disable this so they cannot uh, mess up or, or uh, configure uh, the automations that you set up. But if let's say you want them to uh, just view the campaign, so you can choose this or just view the workflows, you can choose this so they can give you feedback or whatnot. But if you want them to manage, of course, choose these and click save. All right. So there will be a prompt that says user created uh, successfully. So now let's go to our sub account and let's take a look at the settings as well and click my staff and the client will appear here. But there's also another way to add um, your client to his or her sub account. And that is to go straight to the sub account. Let's say this specific sub account right here, go to settings and go to my staff, like what we did earlier, and then just click add employee. So here you have more uh, options because this is directly adding the client to the sub account. Click um, user info, add your information here. Uh, configure roles and permissions. And you can also have the option to uh, configure the call and voice voicemail settings, uh, user availability, uh, especially if uh, your client is also uh, one of the uh, staff that would take care of their customers and calendar configuration as well. All right, so once the client logs in using their credentials, as you can see, um, this is their profile. Um, they only have access to the uh, sub account. They don't have access to the agency and they have access to all the permissions that we have, say sites, 
automations. If you click the settings, click my profile. So here is the profile of the client. They can configure their own password. Uh, they can um, uh, add their uh, signature. They can add their third party calendar like Google Calendar, Outlook Calendar, and all sorts of those good stuff. And they can also access uh, the my staff uh, section, they can add their own employees. So they can add a uh, another admin or a user, it depends. So this is how it looks like when a client logs into their sub account. And that is it for this tutorial, we just learned how to give access to our clients to their sub account. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell so you don't miss any updates. And don't forget, if you're ready to try out Go High Level, use our affiliate link in the description to unlock an extended 30-day trial, over $2,000 worth of bonuses, and a free landing page template. See you in the next videos.